Hello everybody, my name is Henry Chisholm and you're watching Beyond the Arc. In this week's episode, we're going to check out a couple of hot teams who have rivalry games coming up this week. First, we're going to go to St. Joe's, where they play against Trumbull this week, Tuesday at 7. They've been hot as of late. The cadets have reeled off three straight wins and haven't lost to Trumbull since 2006. Cadet senior forward Greg Langston has helped the team out in more than one way. He's not only been able to score, but he distributed the basketball well and has done a good job on the defensive end. Well, I'll tell you, Greg is one of the best players, not only in the league, but the state. The, the, the only thing with Greg is that he tries to get everybody involved. And he had, the other day, he had. Seven assists, and he had five steals and took three charges. Now he only got ten points, but when you put those seven assists with the ten points, he accounted for at least twenty-four points. Taking charges, he took away three baskets that they would have had. So you know he's invaluable as far as you know I'm concerned. He's playing, I think, much better this year than he did last year. Um. But this year, yeah. this year I'm just trying to take more of a leadership role. I don't, I don't need to score a lot of points. We got a lot of weapons. We got Tamaj Parker, Oscar Asi, Sam Wilson, Brandon Jones. We got a lot of weapons, so I don't need to score that many points. I'm just trying to get other two people more balls. So, uh, uh, you know, he and Sam Wilson are my captains, and they're really uh, true leaders. Sam had seven steals the other night. And making the rivalry against Trumbull even more interesting, the cadets actually have some ties to the Trumbull team. So St. Joe's is 6-2, and two, and they head to Trumbull to face off against the Eagles. They're 6-3. and three. They've lost two in a row. Now pushing ahead, we've got a Bastion squad that's 8-1. Surprisingly, they've been able to win games even though they only brought back one player from the starting lineup last season. They face off against rival Central on Friday at 7. Heading into Tuesday, Central is 7-0. And in addition to some balanced scoring, Bastic has also done a good job down the stretch of knocking down their free throws to win a couple of close games. They edged Trinity Catholic last week by four, and the game before that, they beat Greenwich 60 to 51. Our foul shots, we got our foul shots out there at the end of the game, practice foul shots all day, every day in practice. So we got to do is at the end of the game, people follow us, we'll make foul shots. Bastic lost to Central last season 81-66, to and they have not forgotten that defeat. And making this matchup even more intriguing, Jamel Powell is good friends with Central star Jerome Parkins, and so is Jeremy Daniel. He actually went to school with Parkins at Maplewood and again at Curiel. Yeah, we think about that in the back of our head. Like, uh, we know that we lost him last year, and he means this week, and they other, other teams see it as they're undefeated, but we 
know these guys personally, man. It's, they are friends, so we know how they play, they know how we play. So, so me and Jerome grew up, we were in the same class as fourth grade, played on the same elementary team, middle school, same AAU team. We see each other every day on the weekend, chill, but we know this week is all business. So the Bastic Central game should be a good one this Friday at 7 o'clock. Thanks for watching Beyond the Arc. I'm Henry Chisholm, and I'll see you next week.